Offset and two of his acquaintances detained by police due to guns. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so... Yeah. So, apparently, Offset had been detained by police. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to say about this. And also, I want y'all to pay very close attention to how um, a while back... Uh, when the whole Takashi situation started happening, when people started seeing that Takashi was going to get, um, you know, not 47 years or whatever they was threatening him with, or there was the possibility of him to get, when people started seeing that that was actually the case, I was also trying to point out that they're going to try to most likely give um, Takashi 69 a beneficial uh, sentencing so they could try to convince other rappers that they can work with them whenever, you know... Uh, uh, different uh, any kind of organization tries to I don't know extort them or whatever the case is or use them to do illegal uh, you know crimes I think that the government want or police forces in general want the rappers to know that they won't also be held responsible if they help with the investigation now with all of that being said and I'm not accusing anybody of snitching <laughs> I don't, I, I, as far as offset situation goes there is nothing for him to snitch on. Let's just be clear on that. I'm not accusing him of that. So anyway, so with this offset situation, apparently there was a police, uh, police were called to uh, the Grove Shopping Center because there was allegations or there was reports of a man being there. There was a, allegedly a man there with a gun. Oh man, <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a lot of men there. There was a man there with a gun, allegedly. So uh, what ends up happening is uh, the police ends up coming. They end up detaining four people. Two of the people were eventually arrested. The four people that was detained was Offset and two of his people. And I guess an, another person. I don't know if the person was with them or not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, TMZ actually reported on this. Shout out to TMZ. Um, also, uh, for everybody that don't know, the, the video. There's a video of it. I'm not going to show it. Um because I can't, it's probably going to be out there somewhere on YouTube somewhere or on um, IG, I don't know. But there is a video of the police getting extremely handsy with Offset at one point and they're being like pushing and shoving or whatever the case going on as far as that is concerned. So there is actual video of that. But might I also add when Offset actually was released later that night, it was released like around midnight or something right like that. When he was released and he spoke about his uh, situation with the police, Offset did say, Offset did say that there was no issues, there was no problems. They treated him, they treated him well. Um, it was a misunderstanding. That's what he tried to pass it off as. Uh, the two individuals that actually did get arrested, one for uh, illegal firearms and one because they was they had a prohibition prohibited them from actually being able to have firearms those guys were with offset and i believe they're gonna take the charge they're saying that those are their guns that's literally the way it usually had been in the past before people started actually snitching on each other so uh we'll see what happens so let me know what y'all guys think about this particular situation offset picked up let go the two people that was with him they're gonna take the gun charges and um doesn't it look like the police are handling rappers a lot differently a lot differently this is just my opinion i can be wrong but it looks like the stories coming out about the alter the interactions that the police and rappers are having are now a lot more favorable um remember when the situation happened with uh little wayne and the plane those were little wayne's guns he said that they were i believe 
Um, I'm not 100% sure about the drugs or if, but he said they were his guns pretty much. Little Wayne also said that he had a good interaction with the police at that particular time. So maybe we're having a, a switch in, you know, what's happening in America at this point. And I'm telling you right now, they're trying, my, my opinion is, this is my belief, they're trying to create a situation to remove certain elements from hip hop they don't want and when i say they i'm obviously talking about uh police the government law enforcement they don't want to have gangs or um illegal organizations at least or crimes being uh bankrolled by rappers and i believe that's what it is i mean realistically speaking if a rapper gets big Whatever gang he's in, assumption has to be made that the first thing they're doing is going out and buying guns if they don't already have them. Right? That's the assumption. I'm not saying that that's what it is always with the case, but as soon as you get something, the first, the next thing you get is something to protect what you just acquired, right? I'm just saying, realistically speaking. Um. Anyway, uh, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Um. Do and also, do anybody else see the climate kind of changing? As far as how uh, rappers are, their interactions with the police. Um, I believe NBA Youngboy also had some favorable things to say about the judge in his case. I think that there's, I think that there's a switch. There's, a, a, it's, there's just something going on right now, and it's just, it's a change happening. It's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.